It's your money and our friends at the Evans Financial Group want to help you make the most of it. And today uh, with Colin Evans here, we're talking about debt, but but a unique uh, way to look at it, the difference between good and bad debt. Absolutely, there is. And, you know, and a lot of people don't really consider this or think about this. And I remember, uh, I don't remember the quote, like who exactly said it, but there was a quote I heard a long time ago, and it was, those who understand interest earn it. Those who do not understand interest pay it. I was like... Think, think, taking that back just a little bit, well, that's kind of where we kind of framed around this good debt and this bad debt thing. And, you know, when we start out with bad debt, we're thinking of, you know, our credit cards and the things that could put us, you know, in the hole, that overspenditures yeah. and uh, looking at those and that, that nature that we can almost get consumed by the monster of those interest rates. And so I've seen over the past in my 25 plus, almost 25 years in this industry, you know, like if somebody getting into a struggle and they might even end up at one of those kind of credit loan places, and that's even a further escalation right. of, you know, kind of a sliding down, downhill. And that can all that can get close to putting somebody into possibly a bankruptcy option, which is that something that really anybody wants to go to. And so, well, what you know, kind of the flip side of that, what is a good kind of debt? You know, and a good kind of debt could be something that we're looking at as a home purchase, is something I'm going to be living in and building equity for myself. It could be starting a business, and how do I have to have the original financing for that? You know, and aside from you know, kind of the the student loan thing being a little bit of a political banter right now, but even that can be good debt because we're putting a down payment on you know bettering ourselves and looking for something for the future of what we want to do and advancing you know our own lives and our own personal uh, benefits on that end of it. You know, and as we start to think about that, I'm, I kind of get taken back. Uh, one of the things when I got my very very first credit card, and you know, I was young and I was young and dumb, <laughs> and you know, we all we all have that stage. I'm oh, still yeah. I'm I'm hoping the gray isn't showing. I'm still there. Um, yeah, one day we'll break out of it. I promise. <laughs> but one of the things my father told me at a young age, and this is when I was you know kind of out on my own and I was finishing college, he said, you know, you have a credit card, but here's two things I don't want you to ever put on it. Don't put food, like if you're going out to eat with friends, and don't put fuel on okay. it. And I didn't understand it at the time. I said, what do you mean don't put food? He said, well, in a couple hours, you're going to be hungry again. Yeah. And in a couple of days, you're going to be out of gas. And you're going to have to replenish those. And now if you're replenishing them on a credit card, now you're going to replenish those on a higher cost as you're going to be paying, you know, an interest rate that's going to get tacked onto that. Oh, uh, that was a staple of something I always do that. Now, obviously, times have changed just a little bit. I do put my food on a card and I do put my gas on a card. <laughs> but I also pay my card off every single month, which right. is a different story. That's a def uh, just a diligent matter. But... You know, really, it's a, the biggest thing that we want to hammer and hit home is like, you know, putting a down payment on yourself is a good form of debt. Purchasing that home could be a very, very good form of debt. And putting your life in a better position, absolutely, I'm completely for that. It's just want to give that caution and those words of, you know, what is that bad debt and watch out for that and making sure we can do that with some of our past topics like budgeting and, right. and creating some things like that and just some things and tips just to be on the lookout for. And you're not saying that credit cards are bad. No, by the concept but that can spiral into that bad it day. can and it's very very easy especially when we get into like holiday time right. you know you'll see that it's like oh gosh you know how am i going to pay or make up for you know the extra expenditures that i had and i'm a sucker for facebook ads i am <laughs> i own uh, from shoes to hats i mean top to yeah, bottom yeah. i own something from a facebook ad which is a credit card but again i continue to be diligent to pay that off every right. month so you're not getting caught up in that because we can get that kind of immediate satisfaction that we get from purchasing a new item that's you know might be a new pair of shoes or the jordans you had on earlier you know <laughs> that make us feel good those types of things are great and we enjoy that but it's it's also being diligent about that that we don't put ourselves so far back that we're having to fight just to to keep our head above Water. Well, Colin, uh, we always appreciate uh, you coming to stop by each week. Uh, if our viewers want to find you guys, get some advice, where can they find you? Absolutely. EvansFinancial.com is a great place to start, or we can entertain questions at info at EvansFinancial.com. That'll actually come right to me. Perfect. We love that. And KTBS.com as well. We can have those links for you there. Colin Evans. Thanks for having us again. Appreciate you.